Hi, this is Summer Montague, and I'm narrating for Richard Montague, and we're going to give you a quick overview of what he has done with his multi Tree Frog Multiponics 8800 Do-It-Yourself Kit. It is a high-pressured pump that, use, that is used in combination with high-pressure sprayer heads for aeroponic gardening. As you can see, the pressure gauge um, is held at about 100 PSI. His system has five solenoid valves. This one controls the pump and it retains pressure between cycles. Then we have one that opens for va uh, zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four. The 8800 is equipped to handle a dozen sprayers at a time and by utilizing a reef keeper electronic timer system he has been able to separate and have each of the four zones run with the high pressured sprayer heads for 10 seconds apiece every three minutes and the solenoid valves control which valve is open and which ones are closed um, he's added another PC4, another strip of outlets controlled by the reef keeper and they're controlled electronically by the same head unit. The reef keeper light made by Digital Aquatics. We have the first zone which is this top rail system and in this system we see strawberries and we have beets. The lettuce is growing in very very thick more strawberries, we have cabbage and eggplant. And this zone has the sprayers. We have one here, one here, one there, there, over here, over here, and one on the end for a total of seven. And these sprayers are the first zone that opens up for 10 seconds. And that is a dog who doesn't like it when she's not getting the love. Below this we have zone number two. And we have more eggplant. We have some peppers. Some really nice bell peppers. More lettuce. Strawberries, cabbage. And this zone has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sprayers. And we, through trouble, troubleshooting, we've decided that if you have the tube that feeds the nutrients to the sprayers below the height of the sprayers themselves, you don't have any issues with excess drainage or dripping when the sprayers are not in use. Now we have our nutrient reservoir. Over here we have zone three, and these are, it has nine sprayers. There are nine buckets that are strawberry plants. And as you can see, the strawberries are still coming in. And below here, we have zone four, and zone four has these strawberry plants. And the cloned tomatoes. And we have potatoes over here, which they're going to grow. They're in the little containers. Um, it's hard to see, but I'll try to get a good shot. You can see we have the sprayer set up in the top. And I believe it's going to be the next zone, so you're going to get a nice view. It's a fine mist. There aren't any streams or even drops. It's just a, a very fine mist. We have to cover the potatoes back up because they don't like the light. Now, well, at least not until they sprout. And over here, again, we have the light movers, which is a system that 
one light goes and it imitates the revolution of the sun and it makes your plants happy. We have one in here as well. And with this reef, keep, reef keeper system, as you can see I've labeled them. The high pressured pump is timer one, channel one. Zone one, solenoid valve, is timer two, channel two. Timer three, channel three, is zone number two. The lights are channel four as they're not on a timer, they're on a lunar system that the reef keeper light it comes equipped with. We have on the second PC4, timer number four and channel number one. Timer number five and channel number two are zones three and four. And then we have an extra one. And we can do multi-timers and different functions. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the programming, once you figure it out, it can't hurt to write it down. Um, the way you program, you go through the menu and the options, and I have the timers. And then I have the channels. And those are all set up so that if anything needs to be reprogrammed or we add anything else, we already know exactly how we have it set up to do the 10 second intervals. On the next cycle, I will show you, as the solenoid valves have indicator lights, which valve is going to be operating for each 10 second period. If you ha are, have already invested a lot of time, oh, as you can see, zone one solenoid valve is lit up. And now zone two. Zone three. And then zone four. As I was saying, if you've already invested a lot of time and money into your existing hydroponic setups, the do-it-yourself kit is a good way to convert. To convert all of these, we've utilized approximately 80 feet of the food grade quarter inch high pressure hose or tubing, about 35 90s. Uh, I'm sorry, about 2190s, about 35Ts. And then the sprayers, which we have 7, 8, 9, and 10 sprayers. The 8800 is equipped to deal with a dozen sprayers at a time, but we were able to increase the capacity by using the solenoid valve. So it is only controlling between 7 and 10 at one point in time, so it doesn't overwork your pump and you get to spread out the nutrients. It's using the Reef Keeper timer, it's a very easy way to expand on a system. If you have not invested a lot already and you're just interested in aeroponics or you just aren't interested in figuring it out and you know, working out the bugs of the system, they have a kit that's pre-assembled and ready to go at Tree Frogs Multiponics and if you're a beginner I highly recommend it. Personally, um, Richard really enjoys figuring out ways to improve upon systems and how to make it work to his advantage so this was ideal for him as he already had the hydroponics setups in place and switching over to aeroponics is the next step. We look forward to keeping you updated as we expand even more and see what else we have in store. Have a good day.